Hello friends, my name is Lindsay Huerta and I am with the Joint Educational Projects and Scientist Program and Water Kids Program and today we are going to be revisiting sound physics while we make an instrument which should be really really cool but before we can get into the fun stuff we need a refresher. How does sound travel and how does it work? Well, remember how in the last lesson we talked about how sound travels in waves and these waves can feel like vibrations. It's how we hear, it's how our voice works, well, it's also how instruments work. Um, more specifically, the kazoo. So today we're going to be making a kazoo and yeah, take it away, Lindsay. Okay guys, so we're going to make a kazoo. I just did a tester and I got so excited, so I'm really excited. I'm really excited to show you guys. Okay, so you're going to need a toilet paper roll. Hey, and I cut a hole in it. Um, this is very important, very vital. Don't skip that step. I just I used a little scissors and a knife to cut that hole. And then I stuck my finger in there so that it can like make a hole. Yeah, and I have a rubber band. Any color will do. Um, I'm basic, I just went with yellow. And I have um, a couple materials with me actually. I have this like green like cellophane plastic thing. I also have some felt and some paper that I also want to test out. So with that being said, um, I'm going to build a kazoo. We're going to build some kazoos. Okay, so what I'm doing first is I'm going to take my little piece of plastic, my little piece of cellophane, whatever it's called, and I'm placing it on top of um, my toilet paper roll the farthest end from the little hole that I made. So I'm doing it down here. I'm gonna place it on top and then I'm gonna grab a rubber band and secure it on there. I'm basically just putting the rubber band around the, um, around the toilet paper roll, making sure that the plastic or whatever you're using is on there securely. Okay, okay, so <laughs> you're gonna hold this up to your, to your face, to your mouth, and instead of like blowing like you would in a normal kazoo, you're just gonna say, ah. I'm, I'm so excited, okay. Look, listen, listen. Ah. Uh. <laughs> no. Uh. This is so cool. Uh. Uh. This is so cool. Now that I have my piece of felt cut, I'm gonna do the same exact thing. I'm gonna put it over my little toilet paper roll, grab a rubber band, and seal it in place. Okay. So I have it on, so I'm gonna see how that works. Uh. Uh. And nothing. Uh. I, not a single noise. Okay. Fun. <laughs> Okay, so I just have a little piece of paper. I'm gonna do the same exact thing and put it on my little. That kind of works. Yeah. Uh... So I think from our little experiment, I can conclude that the thinner paper, like my piece of plastic, makes the better kazoo noise as opposed to like the felt, which absorbed all the sound and didn't really make much noise. And the paper the noise just kind of went right through it. So it just sounded the same, um, regardless if I like covered the little hole or not. Um, so yeah, I can't wait to see the kazoos that you guys make. Bye guys.